Let's begin first and foremost. In this half of uh, the program, we're talking about uh, two matters. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has set aside the judgment of Justice Uluka Adeni of the Federal Capital Territory High Court, which sacked the Executive Council of the People's Democratic Party in Anambra State, delivering judgment in one of two appeals brought before the court. A three-man panel led by Justice Stephen Ada upheld the appeal filed against the judgment of the lower court. Justice Ada held that the lower court lacked the territorial jurisdiction to have heard the suit brought before it on the dispute over the leadership of the PDP in Anambra State. Samuel Anyakola had filed a suit at the FCT High Court Abuja claiming that the PDP arbitrarily imposed the state chairman, ESCO, and other national delegates on members in its Southeast Zona Congress of March 6, 2021. Justice Adeni of the FCT High Court had held that the PDP violated its constitution in the conduct of the Congress and the appointments made thereafter. He further declared that all Congress's des designations made by the PDP were nullified and set aside. I'm being joined by the PDP National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Kola Ologbondinho, who joins us from our Buja studio. Honorable Jarigbe Agom is also there, who is a senator-elect. Uh, we'll come to that matter in a moment. But let me get Mr. Ologbondinho to this major matter that is uh, affecting your party. With his judgment of today, does he help your case in Anambra State in any way? Yes, thank you very much, Shion. Uh, the judgment by Justice Ada as delivered today has strengthened our party's position, which is that we conducted a primary, we had ESCO elected in the Anambra State, and uh, we conducted a primary which the party stood with to the end, and it's that primary that produced Valentine Ozibo. And that's the primary that INEC participated in and the security agencies participated in. So what has happened with this judgment? This is the judgment upon which all the issues by the Ugojuku Ubas group rested on. Having set aside that judgment, it is believed that all other issues will be rested in favor of our party and our candidate, Valentine Ozebo. But this is not the only matter in, this, uh, in the Anambra PDP. I understand next week there is another uh, judgment expected from the, the appeal court also in relation to uh, why is your party in so much of a troubled water in Anambra State? And it does look like your party is even distracted from the main business of the day. Well, we wouldn't know. We can't say in clear terms why the party has such distractions from certain members of the party. And I say so because the party has a process. Even those who went and organized a separate um, um, primary election, which is not recognized by the party, pick forms from the party. And we believe that they are going to conform themselves with the procedures and the practices of the party. However, they held a different primary. However, even for the primary, they went to court and said a particular list of ESCO must be adopted outside the list that came out of the election in Anambra State. Unfortunately, Justice Adeni set aside a decision of a court of coordinate jurisdiction, even within the FCT, and try to impose the Ayankora Committee upon the party, which the party totally rejected. So at the end of the day, we went to primary in line with the provisions of our constitution, having dissolved all the ESCOs. So by and large, we believe that since every other petition before the court is predicated upon the justice, Adeni's judgment. Now that that judgment has been set aside at the Court of Appeal, we believe strongly that all other issues will collapse into the, into the decision of uh, the Appeal Court. Although the Senator Gochuku Uba's side of uh, the divide does not believe, does not quite, uh, uh, their argument does not quite agree 
with what you have just stated now. Uh, from their own point of view, uh, this judgment does not have anything to do with the case between uh, Senator Gochukuba and Mr. Valentine Ozibo because according to them, they are going ahead and they believe that the judgment that was delivered in Orca is, uh, suff suffices for them to be enlisted because the court has said enlist Senator Ugo Chukuba and Valentine Ozibo should stop parading himself as the candidate of the PDP. But we understand that you have been served that court judgment. Have you obeyed it as a party? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of service on the party. And I say that with all sense of responsibility. But because I know, and you recall, and I guess it was the, on this your program, that first also Kwe, the spokesperson of the Independent National Electoral Commission, came out openly and made a declaration to the effect that People's Democratic Party conducted a primary election in Anambra State. In, from, in which Valentine Ozibo emerged as the candidate of the party. And that INEC witnessed that election, other security agencies witnessed the election. However, if there are matters in court concerning the candidature of Valentine Ozibo, they are predicated on the issue of the ESCO of Ayakura. And, 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 and others. But the joy and the beauty of this, of the judgment of today, is that that superstructure has been set aside, which means that the judgment of the court recognizes the, recognized the provisions of the Constitution of the People's Democratic Party as carried out by the National Working Committee and other committees set up by the party. Those who didn't participate in the process of the party cannot come and lay claim to, cannot come and force the party to recognize the outcome of whatever they organized. Uh, there is a popular proverb uh, in Yoruba, uh, thank goodness that you speak Yoruba language. And in English, it literally means that how the evening will look like is sometimes determined in the morning. Uh, is the evening of your party in Anambra State being determined by what we're seeing, which looks like the, in the wee hours of the race, with the kind of discordant tune that we're seeing that is playing in your party right now? There's a lot of confusion now. What, who do we follow? Uh, the court judgment we said today, another judgment we said tomorrow. So uh, from that proverb, is your destiny in Anambra PDP being determined early enough for what will happen on the 6th of November? So I can't sit here and tell you, going by the reports which the party has received, that the judgment of today elicited a lot of jubilation among the people of Anambra State. And we believe as a party that moving from this position and going by the reconciliation that is ongoing across the state, that we have the brightest chance in that election. So, I mean, how do you then interpret all of this? You said you have now received the judgment of, uh, of the Orca court, which says that INEC should enlist uh, Senator Ugo Chukuba as a candidate of the party. But have, has your party made any move whatsoever in reconciling the other forces. Because uh, on this program, I had Senator Ugo Chukuba, and who said to me that he's willing uh, and ready to embrace political solution to the problem. Has your party made any move in this direction? Even as we speak today, I'm aware that stakeholders met between yesterday and today in an Anambra state on how to reconcile members of the party. And the National Reconciliation Committee has also been put in, has been put in operation too to reconcile members at the various levels and within the various organs of our party. The conciliation is ongoing. So for us in the People's Democratic Party, we are confident 
of victory because we are working on daily basis to ensure that we go into the election in harmony. I wish your party the very best. Uh, if you can stick around and just listen to Honorable Jaribe, it will be good. Uh, take uh, just uh, our AC in our studio for free. Uh, I guess you will need it in that hot sun that you've experienced in Abuja. <laughs> <laughs> let, sure, let me bring... Sure, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it.